welcome to my channel, Starlight Star Rate 70. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome, come on in. So, I am working on my very last square of my Pocahontas. So I thought I would take you along as I try to finish this painting. Uh, this painting has been very um, frustrating, to say the least. I've had problems with seeing a lot of the symbols on it. And yeah, it has not been the easiest. But anyway, this is my very last square. I am so excited and she is going to be done. Um, this painting comes from Timu. It is a center wand painting. I usually absolutely love their paintings, but um, this one, yeah, the symbols have been a bit of a headache. So we are going to see how far I can get on her. It is early morning here in New Mexico. So happy Tuesday morning. I can't believe it's Tuesday already. Um, it's kind of partly cloudy and but warm. I think it's like still in the 70s. So So I found a new um, hobby. <laughs> you want to call it that and my husband got me into it and it's creating um, AI images so I have my computer full of different images that I have created and want to um, of course make into diamond paintings and then I was thinking I could sell them on my new Etsy store um, I don't have much on the store yet I think there's like two items, but I'm getting a bunch of keychains coming in that I'm going to make. I want to make some cover minders, so, and then a whole bunch of other little things uh, related to um, diamond painting and stuff, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. See how much I can create. I love arts and crafts. I've just never been very good at it. <laughs> so yeah, so we shall see. But I'm really, really excited about this um, AI art. And so now I, I told um, Wolf last night, he said, oh, I said, we're gonna have to find a really good company to work with us. So we're gonna check into that. We're gonna see how that works. I would love to um, have Center One make my diamond paintings, but of course, I'm sure they have their own. Um, I do know you can do customs through their uh, store, but with that, they don't have the square. And um, most of my images that I created are square images, so um, I'm looking at like 30 by 30s or 40 by 40s, more or less 40 by 40s because that is really my favorite size. And of course I don't want to spend an arm and a leg uh, with getting customs done, but anyway we shall see what happens and with that. But yeah, it's a lot of fun creating. Um, I made some really, really beautiful images. And fairies and piano girls and Eeyores. Oh my goodness. So, so much fun. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I always have to remember that, oh yes, I'm left-handed. So... I don't want to cover you guys up. Usually I put my camera on the other side of me. And then I remember at the end, oh yeah, I'm left-handed. You probably couldn't see anything I'm doing. But, so 
don't really have any plans for today. Um, I do have a PR uh, package that I need to do. It's with um, uh, Art Dot or Diamond Dot or anyway, some company. They reached out to me and they sent me some glue, some um, glue. Well, it's kind of like glue, sealing stuff. So they asked me if I would review it and I said, yeah, sure. So you're going to be doing that. Whoops, here I am doing the wrong ones again. I, I get into doing that. I start talking and then before I know it, I'm painting things I shouldn't be painting. Symbols that are not the right symbols. <laughs> so yes. So yeah, so this painting has taken me almost the whole month to do. Usually a size like this does not, but um, as many of you know, I was sick for almost a good two weeks. Um, I'm still uh, very tired, and the other morning, was it, oh, the, was that Sunday? Yeah, Sunday morning. I woke up with an extremely high fever and I thought, oh no, because it was our Wizard of Oz theme night. And I thought, oh, I got to get better for that. So I slept all day and of course, yes, my husband was out gallivanting and uh, he made a short little video of a cute little filing cabinet that's in the middle of the desert here and quite interesting i did watch the video we were always talking about going to see it so uh, he did finally go and see it but quite interesting I'm not sure if he left anything in the filing cabinet i forgot to ask him i'll have to ask him if he did leave anything hopefully he didn't take the beer and try to drink it <laughs> i don't think he would do that who knows how old that would have been. Oh my goodness. Can beer even go bad? I don't know. I don't know enough about alcohol. But I don't think like alcohol itself, I think it just probably gets stronger and stronger over the years. But everybody is sleeping, so it's very quiet. Even the kitties are still sleeping. So they're not doing their morning meowing. <laughs> feed me, feed me. Oh my goodness. Probably going to have to take our blizzard in to go get seen. Um, he's been drinking tons and tons of water lately. And um, he can't see him when he eats. He eats so fast that he's throwing up, so um, he's not retaining any food, it seems like. And so he's getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. There's nothing to him. So I'm really worried about him. Uh, he is 19 years old. So yes. Ooh, and today is the 27th. It is my husband's birthday. So everybody wish him a happy birthday in chat, or in uh, comments I should say. Yes, it is his birthday. He is another year wiser. Uh, so, I don't think we're going to be doing anything really special today for his birthday, but... Um, I think he is planning on going to town and told him, hey, while you're there for your birthday, get yourself a haircut. <laughs> she needs one badly. His hair grows so fast. Oh my goodness. I wish my hair would grow that fast. But it's getting a lot better. Before I hardly had any hair and now it's starting to grow back again. So I'm very thankful for that. It's getting thicker and thicker. Um, but yeah. Or 
or I should maybe I should say just frizzier maybe that's a good word because <laughs> it is very very frizzy So anyway, so this is a center wand diamond painting. It is a, I believe this one is a 45 by 45. Um, has, it had a lot of, a lot of confetti in it. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a Pocahontas. Um, I chose this one to do for Diamond Grandma's cultural event for this month. Uh, with her co-host Teresa's Journey. So, if you haven't checked out Diamond Grandma, please do so. She is an absolutely lovely lady. And Teresa's Journey also has a channel. And um, I really enjoy watching her as well. Both of them are very lovely ladies. So, yes, um, please go check them out. Go give them a subscribe if you haven't. And if you are involved with their um with their event this month you have to be subscribed to them anyway so just in case you didn't know that so you have to be subscribed to Diamond Grandma and you have to be subscribed to Teresa's Journey I think Teresa's Journey I'm not sure how many I know that she's still under a thousand so yeah, go show her some love and go show her some support and try to get her subscribers up there. Uh, she she was showing some paintings she got off of Amazon from, from Art Dot, I think it was. And I've never checked out that company yet. But they look really, really nice. So... So how many of you have your e or paintings ready? I have one that is like half done that has ear and Winnie the Pooh so I would really like to get that one done so that's what I'm going to work on first. Um, I have so many to uh, choose from, oh my goodness, but uh, I'm also going to review a lot through the month with you guys. So. I have uh, purchased quite a few and then I also have a lot stored so um, there will be a blessing at the very end of September for anyone that has entered um, it's very simple to enter you go on to the YouTube are you not YouTube sorry you go on to the Facebook page it's called stars uh, Diamond Painting and Timu Fanatics because I am a Timu fanatic. I could uh, shop for hours and hours and hours on there. <laughs> and I have shopped for hours and hours on there. Um, but yeah. Timu has so many diamond paintings. Oh my goodness. So yeah. I go and I look at them all and and then I look at them and think, hmm, do they need to be a bigger size? How are they going to all render out at this size? And so, yeah, <laughs> takes me a long time. But uh, Timo also has a lot of other fun things um, on their on their app or on their web pay or on their web store. So I am an affiliate and an influencer with Timo. So, some of the things that I do purchase, I can get for free. Uh, for being an influencer, all I have to do is um, submit five videos. And I get uh, $250, basically. Uh, half of that is uh, a money amount. And half of that is, I can put right back into Timu under credit um, to make more videos. But um, I usually end up spending way more than that <laughs> a month. Um, and so everything goes back into Timu. Um, I just absolutely love Timu. I have actually a couple bins sitting full of dime paintings to still review. But um, I got another small little shipment in last night, which I might do later today. 
I shouldn't say last night. It was it was the afternoon. I think there was like four paintings in there, three or four paintings. So yeah, might review them later today. We shall see. She'll see how I feel. Like I said, I really want to get this done. It's either going to be that or I'm going to do a review on the sealer. Or my PR because I do want to seal this painting and um, get her framed. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to do it on, can on uh, what do they call that, canvas framing, uh, which I, I probably will end up doing. Um, or getting the frame and just doing it myself. Uh, the cost of framing at uh, Hobby Lobbies or who else does it? Michaels is quite expensive. And for a price I paid for this dime painting, it would probably cost me triple, if not quadruple, the price just to get a frame. So, yeah. I absolutely love Pocahontas. Love, love the movie. Love the singing. It was like one of my favorite Disney movies. I have like so many favorite Disney movies though. They were all really, really good. But I think my favorite, favorite one would still be Cinderella. Absolutely love the story of Cinderella. She had such a hard life. Oh my goodness. She had those wicked stepsisters. And then she had a wicked stepmother on top of that. Uh, who just treated her awful. She was basically a slave. In their home. Had to do everything for them. And uh, yet. She still. She, she had her little mice friends. It would be like little pretend friends. <laughs> right? And, you know, no matter how bad her circumstances was, she could still sing. She was still happy. You know, she tried to be as happy as she could be. And then, what happens? She meets her Prince Charming. So her fairy godmother comes down and says, Hey, you're going to the ball. Turns her into a beautiful, beautiful, um, turned, or gave her a beautiful dress, gave her some glass slippers, and off she went to the ball. And then at the very end, she married her Prince Charming. I think I've almost seen every rendition of that movie. So, so yeah, absolutely loved it. And still love it. I, I guess maybe I just love fairy fairy tales. Beauty and the Beast is another one I really liked. Um, I used to be really heavy into reading and I absolutely love to read um, I guess kind of like fantasy novels. Um, I also like to read There's fantasy and then uh, true crime. I was really into true crime. Um, one of my favorite shows to watch on A and E is uh, forty the first forty eight hours. Um, but yeah, I liked any kind of true crime. The Murder she wrote. Oh my goodness, that used to be like one of my favorite shows. That I never missed. With Angela Lansbury. Oh, that was a good, good show. Another one of my favorite shows I used to like to watch is A Love Boat. <laughs> oh, I tried never to miss that one either. It's funny. Never been on a cruise ship, but sure like to uh, to watch The Love Boat. That's when there was like really, really good TV, like good programs on TV. Now I wouldn't even, I couldn't even tell you um, what kind of programs are playing. But, 
But I do love TLC. I, I love watching all the programs on TLC. Um, I really got into 90 Day Fiance. And um, if not many of you know, I did meet my husband online. And he did uh, move over to Canada and became a Canadian citizen there. He still holds his U.S. citizen as well, so he's dual now. And, uh, but anyway, so yeah, I got really into watching the 90 Day Fiance. But uh, let me tell you, we sure didn't have as many problems as, as those people have. Now, I understand it's a show, but uh, my goodness. So, but now they have like 90 days the other way or 90 days before and 90 days after and 90 days in between. <laughs> they have come up with so many different 90 days. So yeah, I say crazy. So I'm just using a center one um, pen. I'm using a center one tray. I'm using their wax. Um, so yeah. I don't mind using these pens. They're nice and light. It's got a nice squishy on it. So it feels really, really good. There's a lot of R's on this one. That's nice. Uh, this section here looks like there's quite a bit of color blocking in it. So yay. Excited about that. Because there hasn't been much color blocking at all on this painting. So anyway, so yeah, so the event that I'm holding is for um, Eeyore. It's an Eeyore event starting September 1st. Um, you can have an Eeyore diamond painting. You can do coloring. Uh, you can do crocheting, paint by number, knitting, whatever your niche is. Um, but as long as Eeyore is the um, main focus, um, you could have Eeyore and Pooh, you could have Eeyore and Tigger, you could have the whole gang if you want. But yes, Eeyore has to be in the picture. Um, you just submit your work, like I said, on the Facebook page. If you don't have Facebook, you can send me a picture through my email. Um, all that information is linked in my description for you. So you just go up to the description. If you don't know where the description is, it's right below this video. Um, it will say, I think it's, it will say more or something. And that's where the description is. Um, so all you have to do is just uh, copy. Um, everything will be highlighted in there. So you just click on it and it will actually take you, I think, right to my, uh, right to the Facebook page. Uh, email you might have to copy and paste that I'm not sure but yes um, I'm expecting some mail today I know I know that I'm getting some friend mail so I'm really excited about that don't have a clue what you'd send me um, so I will be opening that probably tomorrow so really looking forward to that and I'm going to be doing another um, little mystery swap with Sam for Halloween. So looking forward to that as well. Uh, if you don't know who Sam is, she's got a channel. She is from uh, Canada. And her channel is called Crafting with Sam. So yeah. So we're going to do that. Oh. My little girl's awake. Yep. My little Pix Pix is awake. She went and jumped on the other couch because I have some stuff over here piled up. <laughs> She's probably like, Mom, what are you doing? Usually she lays right beside me when I down paint. Um, I do everything in my cozy corner. Um... I have a, a love seat and it uh, both seats recline 
So, and then I have a table that fits underneath. So, um, I just move the table underneath, and there she is. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta move things out of the way because, yeah, things are in the way so, for her. Let me just move some things out of the way. So, my remote. Are you good? Got my remote over here. Good morning. Here's my baby. Let me move this stuff out of your way. Oh, I found my crosses. I was looking for my crosses. Uh, I believe it was Jack who got me these crosses. Um, these ones are right here. Uh, not those. But these ones are right here. I don't know if you can see them. I was looking for them because I wanted to do them for just Killy's uh, last part of her um, her challenge I've been doing all month. So she put up a challenge to do uh, 31 small little projects through the month of August. And so I have been trugging along and doing those. So um, I do have still a couple book bookmarks I could finish up. But I wanted to start on those crosses, so I'm glad I found them tonight. There are so many things tucked in every little corner of this RV. Oh my goodness. It's like I have things stored here and I have things stored there. But it's funny. That's what happens when you do you live in an RV, you're in a very small space, for one thing. Um, and then there's only so much storage. So, pretty tight in here. But um, there is a nice storage bin underneath our bed. It lifts up, and there's a nice storage bin there. Um, we have a nice big closet with sliding doors. So, and then it has a really nice shelf on the top, so store the store some stuff there. And then there is a uh, kitchen cabinet that uh, we don't use, so um, there's a top and there's a bottom, and so I can store stuff in there. And then I picked up a couple items from Timu for storage as well. And so yeah, I got a dresser with, I believe there's nine drawers in it. And that is full of, um, almost full, not quite full yet, but almost full of uh, drills. And then um, I got a cute little cart and it's on wheels. And it fits perfectly on the other side of our um, island we have here. And so that holds a lot of, uh, a lot of more, a lot more stuff that, um, I have. So everything is still kind of organized, which I'm really happy about. I put most of my dime paintings in books. I have, um, 30 by 40s. Like they hold the 30 by 40s. And then I have ones that hold... 40 by 60s so most of my 40 by 40s and then anything larger than that gets put under my mattress so I have getting a, quite a pile under my under my mattress let me tell you but the nice thing about that is that they all flatten out really nicely so yeah oh if you haven't um, Go check out the live that my husband and I did on Wizard of Oz the other day. I think it was on Sunday. Um, yeah, go check that out. We had a lot of fun. He threw straw everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And um, still finding straw in little places. But, uh, but yeah, it was, it was fun. And... Um, 
there will be a blessing box for that and that will be picked on um, Sunday's live I plan on doing a live with uh, Lynn Marie she is out camping right now so I hope she's having a lot of fun her channel is called um, creative chaos with Lynn Marie uh, she had a channel before but she ended up getting herself locked out of it so she ended up having to start a new channel which she did uh, so just in case you were or you were subscribed to her before her new channel is called um, creative chaos with Lynn Marie I think her old channel is just called diamond painting with Lynn Marie so yeah But we have done lives before. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> she is uh, she is a fun lady. Lots and lots of fun. So, what do you guys collect? Do you do you besides diamond paintings? <laughs> is there anything else you collect? Me, of course, it's Eeyore. I love stuffed animals. I have bags and bags and bags full of stuffed animals. Uh, not here, of course, back home, but um, but yeah, I have always been fascinated with stuffed animals. Um, I used to collect the little beanie babies. Is that what they're called? Beanie babies, I think. Um, so I have tons of those. I don't even know if they're a thing anymore. They used to be. So yeah, I have lots and lots of those. Oh, and then of course, yes, Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. I had like a whole room dedicated. Um, it was a guest room used to be a um, a bedroom but uh, for one of my kids but when they moved out yeah I made it into kind of a little guest room um, I had I had quite a huge house back home I had uh, it was three stories so I had a base a full basement and then the main area or the main living area had the uh, kitchen living room and then the back was a wash uh, like a washer a washing machine room like a laundry room a <laughs> washing machine room a laundry room and then uh, a bedroom in the back so that was on the second level and then or the main level I'll call it then this the third level had three bedrooms up there and then a little office area uh, with a bathroom up there as well and there was a bathroom my husband built a bathroom on the main floor so we had two well, actually we had three bathrooms because there was also a bathroom downstairs so three bathrooms in the house so yeah it was a, quite an older home too it was like almost a hundred years old very strong and sturdy and it's really really nice but uh, the taxes in the town I was living in was extremely extremely expensive it just seemed that the cost of living just kept going up and um, yeah most of our money that we had were all going just to pay bills pay bills my goodness so when my husband retired we said yep let's sell the house and let's buy a trailer a travel trailer and let's trade in our um we had a nice cute little suv so we traded that in for a truck and yeah that's where we started um and we headed south not thinking we were actually going to stay south, but yeah, headed south. 
<laughs> landed in New Mexico. That's where I first met him. It was actually in New Mexico, uh, in Albuquerque. And we traveled around. And we ended up in Eagle's Nest. And oh my goodness, this is a beautiful, beautiful country up there. It's up in the mountains. But it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, absolutely love uh, New Mexico. We are way in the south now, though. Desert land. Um, boy, when it uh, when it gets windy, the sand sure does blow. Now I know what they mean by sandstorms. It looks almost the same thing as snowstorms, but with sand. Absolutely crazy. But this year it's been extremely, extremely hot. Haven't been able to really enjoy the outside at all, just due to the heat. Um, I have to be very careful that I don't get overheated with uh, my skin condition that I have. Uh, so yeah, it's almost like um, my daughter has this too. So when you sweat, um, I get like extremely itchy and uh, swollen and my inflammation starts really bad and just very very uncomfortable and yeah and I get all swollen and I get really bad sores and oh it's just a mess so humidity is definitely not a place for me and we had lots of humidity humidity um, where I was living as well as where I grew up in uh, southern Manitoba in the summertime very very high humidity and in the winter with the cold yeah that wasn't good either so I would be basically homebound for quite a few years and so I got to just staying at home and now I love staying at home. I do all my shopping online. Even um, the basic grocery shopping that we do. We have a Walmart here in town. But we can shop online and then my husband just goes and picks it up. Um, we have one, one little grocery store. Kind of like a supermarket I guess. It's called Peppers. And uh, he'll go and pick up uh, some stuff in peppers. And yeah, those are our two stores. Uh, Deming used to have a lot of different stores, but I noticed that a lot of them are closing, unfortunately. I just don't think that they can make it. Uh, there is a tractor supply though and that's about it so if you ever want to go if I ever want to go to like say a Hobby Lobby or Michaels or stores like that I would have to go to the city which is about a 45 minute drive from here so it's not too too bad Actually, I'm not even sure if they have a Michaels. I do know that there's a Hobby Lobby over there. But, I mean, I can get all my dime paintings on Timu, so. Um, or AliExpress, or any of those other little friendly, low budget companies. I don't mind them at all. Um, I've done one uh, Diamond Art Club. It was a very small painting I got off of uh, Amazon and the only reason why I bought it was because I loved the unicorn that was on it. I made it for my granddaughter's birthday uh, last year and um, so yeah. I didn't really even know, know anything about Diamond Dot or uh, Diamond Art Club until I started watching creators talk about uh, their canvases and stuff. And then I went to the website and I almost fell over backwards. 
<laughs> like holy that's in this dark painting is gonna be a very expensive hobby but nope not on Timu for the price of one diamond art I can buy probably ten Timu diamond paintings <laughs> okay so they might not be as high quality but I have fun You know? And I mean, most of them are just going to get stored back in a book. And where am I going to store a huge diamond painting? I, I've, I have a couple that I made. Of course, I have one hanging on my wall. But I have a couple. I have a beautiful horse running. That was a large one, and I have really no place to store it. And um, so yeah, they just get rolled back up and stored in boxes. But um, yeah, and I don't really have room to store, so these size paintings here are perfect for me because I can just throw them right back in the book if I want to after I'm done them. Um, 30 by 40s too are a good size for me. But once I started doing 40 by 40s, uh, yeah. I absolutely fell in love with the 40 by 40 size. So that's kind of my favorite size right now. Um, I do have a, quite a few 50 by 50s as well. And those ones are pretty nice too. But um, I need to look at getting a book that I can store them in. I think, I think there is somebody that does make a big enough book. I'll have to look to see. I can find so I should be done with her this morning I am a single placer not very often will I multi place um, not to say that I can't do it but I just enjoy my single placing. Yeah, my conversation has been kind of all over the place. <laughs> so my apologies. Oh my goodness. M's, M's, M's. I can see all the R's I miss now. So I'm just looking to see if I missed any more M's before I put this away. But there's a couple R's here that I missed. And there's an R over here that I missed. So yeah, and there's an R up here too that I missed right up here. You can see it now nicely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one that popped out. M's are done. Let's do number twos. I don't even know how long we've been doing this for. But her hair is coming along nicely. Oh, sorry, I'm probably shaking you when I shake that, though, aren't I? So 
So I watch channels that do that. Um, M M A M S R whatever. When they're doing, putting their diamonds on the painting, they have like a popping sound. It's like I wonder how they do that because I never get that popping sound. Yeah, mine mine never pop. I don't know if it's the kind of canvas they use or is it maybe the certain type of wax they put in their pen. I'm not sure, but I want to learn how to pop. Twos. Let's see one two way up here. One two way over here. And is that a two? Yeah, I think that one's a two. Whoops. Now I have no idea what that is beside her right there because it's all blurry. So I mean there's some symbols that are so so blurry that you can't even see what they are. So I just fake it. Say so if I know which one's supposed to be in there. Excuse my yawning, my goodness. Yeah, that's it, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I got up way too early this morning. And upload this and then yep. Go to sleep, I think. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I will continue to work on her today. She will be done. And then, yeah. So then I think I will uh, do that PR for sealing her. We'll see how well that stuff works. And, yeah. My first one done for this month for uh, the events. I'm also... I still have a painting here to work on for uh, Diamonds by Tita's event for our Beach Vibes. And then I've also got um, the hamburger I want to finish. Excuse me, for what was I thinking? My goodness. And before I fall asleep on you guys, I'm going to bid you a farewell. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day from my home to yours. Please keep safe out there. If you have any storms, please take heed. If it's hot, stay hydrated. Remember to be kind and to love everyone. And with that, God's richest blessings. And I will catch you on the next one. Love you all. Bye.